The legality of the war in Iraq is the major focus of the Chilcot inquiry again today, as Tony Blair's former Attorney General, Lord Goldsmith, comes before it. Yesterday, he had heard from two Foreign Office lawyers who said they warned ministers the war was illegal, but said their advice was brushed aside. Sir Michael Wood said he told the then Foreign Secretary Jack Straw the use of force was not legally sound without a second UN resolution. He said Mr Straw took the view that international law was pretty vague. Taking such a firm position when he'd been at the Home Office, things had often... Uh, um, he'd often been advised things were unlawful and he'd gone ahead anyway and won in the courts. It was the Attorney General, Lord Goldsmith, who ruled on the legality of warfare with Iraq. The inquiry yesterday saw and heard evidence he had first expressed grave doubts about its legality, if no second UN resolution was passed. But that he then came under mounting pressure from government colleagues to change his mind. Sir Michael's number two at the Foreign Office, Elizabeth Wilmshurst, said it was hard for the Attorney General to say no to war. She quit her job over the invasion. For the attorney to have advised that the conflict would have been unlawful without a second resolution would have been very difficult at that stage without handing Saddam Hussein a massive public relations advantage. It was, it was extraordinary, frankly, to leave the request to him so late in the day. Today, Lord Goldsmith will come before the inquiry. He can expect questions about newly declassified documents which reveal his own doubts about the legality of conflict. And he will certainly be asked what happened to make him change his mind, though still without that crucial second UN resolution.